Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. Can a feeder be protected by a listed ground fault circuit interrupter installed at a readily accessible location instead of individual GFCIs, those that are specified in 210.8 and 590.6a? And the correct answer is yes, it is permitted. And we're going to dive into the answer to this here in just a moment. But I thought this would be a great time to recap on the three different types of conductors that we use in the NEC. The first one is service conductors, feeder conductors, and branch circuit conductors. Let's go ahead and dive into it now. The first type of conductor that we primarily use in the NEC is a service conductor. Service conductors come from the utility and they go to the first point of disconnect on the structure. Usually from that point out on the load side of the first point of disconnect, they are going to be, that's where our service conductor stop and we're going to move into the second type of conductor. So let's imagine that we had a meter disconnect combo and we brought our service conductors in to the line side of the main breaker. Then we were going to an indoor panel and that those conductors there are going to be feeder conductors. Feeder conductors are conductors on the load side of the service that come from one panel and go to another panel that has overcurrent devices. So if you feed from one panel and that wire feeds to another panel and inside of that panel you have more breakers or fuses, those conductors there are feeder conductors. And our final type of conductors are branch circuit conductors. They are the final conductors at the last overcurrent device. So if we went from the service riser down to the top of the meter to the top of that main breaker those are going to be our service conductors then from this meter disconnect combo we fed to an interior panel those are going to be our feeder conductors and then from there we go out and wire lights and receptacles those are going to be our branch circuit conductors if you'll just search different types of conductors electrical code coach i've got a really detailed study on this but i thought it would be a great time to recap Now let's imagine electrical has been real good to you and you've built you a nice house. You got your meter disconnect combo and your service riser. And let's imagine that you want to build you a small little garage just off the house. And for sake of argument, this one, we're going to say it's only five feet away from this meter disconnect combo. And I'll explain why here in just a little bit. You're going to pipe down, pipe over, pipe up, mount you a panel. You're going to establish your grounding electrode system. And now you're ready to wire this structure. You decide that you want to have five 20 amp branch circuits, one for each individual set of receptacles because you're going to be running a bunch of heavy duty equipment and you decide you're going to run one circuit for the lighting. You do the math up by the time you buy the breakers and everything else. You decide it's a little bit cheaper to buy one breaker over here that's GFCI protected and run it over the building. The inspector comes out, says it's totally fine. A couple things that you want to watch out for here is that yes, this may be code compliant, but if any one of these five receptacle circuits or the lighting circuit trip, you're going to be left in the dark and the whole building is going to be without power. Now you may be really sharp in the code and you say, Hey coach, I don't think the receptacle over or this breaker over here at the house meets the definition of readily accessible. That's okay. I respect your opinion. It would depend for me how far away the garage was, because if you look back at the definition of readily accessible, it does say capable of being reached quickly. If this is like a hundred feet away from the house, you could definitely argue that that's not capable of being reached quickly. So just keep that in mind as you install this, if you decide to use this provision. And just remember that if one of these circuits trip, it's going to leave the entire circuit in the dark. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. If there's anything you need from me, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.